Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is Betty Atruda. Welcome back to Fallout 4. You only live once. Well, last time, I got a big robot arm, which is just absolutely flipping lovely. Gotta love that. And on top of that, we did a lot of really good work in terms of setting up some important stuff we're going to be needing going forward. Coverage in terms of artillery across large parts of the map. We got ourselves drugs. We're now drug resistant, so I can just, you know, drug myself into a flipping stupor. Everything is... Everything's going to be golden, and uh, we are also close, so damn close, to having a ballistic weave. But uh, one important thing I've remembered, okay, actually, two. Let's talk all about the things that John didn't really get wrong, but sort of, you know, overlooked a bit. Number one, we need to kind of get rid of uh, Preston, because uh, there's a possibility at some point he might try and, you know, give me a quest. And I don't want him to do that. I want him to, you know, naff off somewhere else. So just from up here, I'm going to say, Preston... You're no longer welcome in my base, because otherwise it's a really small base, I might walk past him and I might say, Hey, another settlement needs your help. If I want more settlements, I'll listen to Radio Freedom. So instead, he's being sent over to uh, the castle, which feels like an appropriate place for him, because, you know, it's literally the Minutemen base. So he'll be happy there, that'll be all absolutely fine. So I just back out of that, and hopefully he'll just naff off in a second, everything's going to be marvellous. And uh, number two, okay, I may have been a bit hasty with my, you know, maximised laser sniper rifle because uh, I always forget this when there's a scope on it because you can barely see it. So that red light there, if I fire this thing, the red light now goes out. But then it like uh, goes back on again and Preston, you're supposed to be naffing off, but whatever. There's a trio of red lights, but you can't see them because they're hidden by the flipping scope. But, like, when they're not charged up, you do a lot less damage. And this is supposed to be, like, you know, my day-to-day -day gun when I'm not sniping, even though it's a sniper weapon, it's got a sniper scope. So, it could be a really good sniper weapon, but, in a way, it's kind of not very effective as a day-to-day. -day. As if I was, like, you know, fire this as a burst, the subsequent shots would be a lot weaker. But, like, if I put it over to a standard long barrel, it's going to be weaker than, you know, the tactical combat. And also, that is tactical. It's got the reflex. So, uh, I'm going to go back over to that, even though it weighs a bit more. Because, uh, for once, weight is not a massive problem. I'm also glad I did this, because it's reminded me I'm carrying around a mini nuke I really don't actually need. Uh, and 100 plasma cartridges. So, that there, that's a lot of flipping weight we've just cleared out. Yeah, 94 damage on every single shot, plus the reflex, so it's better in VATS, is going to be better than 103 on the first shot, but like, I think under half damage, like maybe even a third, it might literally be like, you know, for each light about a third of the damage. It's definitely a lot less anyway, I'm not sure of the exact calculation there, no one seems to have uh, ever figured it out precisely, but uh, yeah, we'll be taking that instead. Ah, yes, and don't forget, now's a good time to top up my supplies of Psycho Jet and make sure I've got plenty of that. So, uh, I'm just sitting on uh, eight Psychos I was storing here because I wasn't really uh, using it for much. I've already got three Jets, so take uh, five of them. And yeah, that's going to be a good, solid supply of Psycho Jet going forward. In fact, yeah, Psycho Jet just became so important, I'm actually putting it on the, uh, the shortcuts right here. So, uh, okay. Let's be ready to go here. Let's be ready to flip and go. Because, yes, of course, last week we picked up a jackpot. And hopefully it should take one jackpot mission. It's kind of supposed to, but sometimes it kind of bugs out and, like, Tom just doesn't speak to you. And uh, then if that happens, you have to do a second. So, uh, yeah, we got told to go to uh, the Ruined Skyscraper in the Financial District. Now, that's probably the best of, I think it's uh, three that you can get given. It's the easiest to get to, though... Uh, I mean, it's the closest anyway. There's still problems with it. It's, you know, still a bit dangerous. Anyway, let's get the Psycho Jet. We'll talk about that in a second. Right, just to make myself the drugs I need. They're getting a little bit of XP off, uh, yes, Idio Savant there. Not a bad amount at all. And there we go. We've now got a good amount of Psycho Jets. I'm also currently, yeah, tired, but I'm not going to sleep right now because, yeah, I'm floating about 20% uh, bonus damage on adrenaline, so... Uh, yeah, I'll keep that, because, you know, we're going into a bit of a combat situation right now. Okay, just stepped out of... Uh, hang on, what's... What's going on over... Over here? Okay, whatever it is, you don't seem to care, so that's fine. Yes, yeah, so now we're going east. And the uh, best way to do that is just go down via, uh, yeah, Boston Library. The route we've been down before, the route that leads to uh, 
to Good Neighbor. So uh, if we just follow that route down, we should be moving uh, in the right direction. And uh, yes, indeed, important thing there, I just got a bit thirsty. Now that was just natural, but as I started doing more and more drugs, uh, there are downsides. The big, most important, obvious one is uh, hydration. I am going to get dehydrated uh, relatively fast. So uh, you might burn through your water faster than you're expecting. So as a result of that, yeah, making sure you've got uh, bases nearby so you can top that up nice and easy. Or just making sure you've got bases with enough surplus water. They're going to be producing uh, lots of surplus water. All of that would be very, very useful indeed. But this route should be entirely empty because I've been up and down here a fair few times at this point. There is like one raider in our house on the right here, but... I can't remember whether I ever bothered to take them out. The brackets are suggesting... No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. And it's kind of hard to... Oh. Oh, this is... This is not really what I was expecting. Uh, just wait for you to... Uh, I mean, if you'd like to step outside, that would actually potentially be quite useful. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, this person is very obscure. To get a line app for some reason and oh 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 for some reason they always see you before you see them it's just a faff dealing with this person i'm just not gonna bother all right just live and let live for some reason this person there's another one upstairs too right you know what i'm just gonna leave them be because for some reason they're always bloody trouble and uh, you know i'd love to go into hubris i really would because there's some good loot in there but there's just there's just too many ghouls in just too small a space. I'm gonna leave it. And also, what? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Swan's awake? Why is Swan awake? Who the flip woke up, Swan? Okay, this is... Well, um... As Swan's awake anyway... Um... Well, this is... This is all fascinating. Uh, okay, so... I do have one thing we could try here. Artillery smoke grenades. Let's, um, let's flip in try and new King Swan. He's a bit close to a building, but the pond does mean there's a bit of empty space around him. We might be able to nuke him from a hangman's alley. That's, that should be enough damage. And if it's not, I've got a good shot. Like right here. Like this is a good place to potentially hide from. Okay, we're killing Swan. This wasn't how I was planning to start the episode, but here we flip in. Ah, oh, seriously though, who the flip woke you up? So... Just put that right there, over the top, and that should now be in about the right spot. So now we just wait around the corner, and oh yeah, he's right on top of it. Go over to Radio Freedom quickly, and... We're locked onto your target. It's about to get really hot over there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and now he's, oh he's kind of not in the right spot anymore. He's kind of not in the right spot, is he about to... I'm gonna back off a bit, actually. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit close, actually. Okay, so that's done a fair whack of damage. So now we're just, we're just nuking Swan right now. Okay. I mean, we are hitting him. We're definitely, well, we're potentially hitting him. We're not getting the XP at the moment. Okay, one of them definitely missed. Hit a building instead. And where's, where's he? Has he been? He's been a bit hit. Oh, we've only taken half his... Oh, we've taken half his health, but there's more coming yet. That felt like that should have been a hit. Okay, do we have a shot at the head? I just need a headshot. I can just get a shot at the head. Okay, I'm gonna miss that was... That one was closer to me than I'd like. And why that? Why is there two? Oh, am I in range of two different... Two different camps? Oh, he's, he's coming, by the way. Um, he's, he's on his way. Um, crits. We got him. Oh, flip, we got Swan. Well... Holy heck! Um, that was definitely more than five. So, uh, potentially, if you've got, like, more than one base that's in range, and I'm guessing we're in range of uh, Castle and Hangman's, uh, they coordinate fire. I always thought that was only if you had more than one uh, in an individual base, but that was definitely more than five shells, so... Uh, okay, we've killed Swan. That's a thing I wasn't expecting to be doing this run. I thought we were just going to be sneaking around him for bloody ages, but, uh, okay... There you go, though, this is kind of bad, because uh, now I can't actually um, use my uh, nukes against anything else. And I was kind of planning to use them against other stuff. So, uh, okay, we've killed Swan, that's nice. Obviously, there's nothing we can do with the Furious Power Fist, but I am allowed to sell it. I can't use it. But, like, I've got no problem with... Hang on, is that okay? 
Did I decide I couldn't sell things when there was rights authority? I can't remember whether selling it's okay. Still, we've got... Ooh. Heavy leather rights. That's... That's potentially a sturdy combat armor chest. Ooh, that's gonna be tempting right there. And also... Uh, oh, that's... That's actually kind of the best thing that could possibly have happened. So, swan boat fragments are made out of fiberglass. And uh, guess what I need uh, to make ballistic gear? Why, yes, it's fiberglass. Like, loads of fiberglass. Like, literally, later this episode, I was going to be all clever and say, Oh, yes, and by the way, you can go to Cleo in Good Neighbor, but we'll need to make a lot of money to do that, so we'll trade duh duh duh, duh to get a shipment of fiberglass, and I've just got, like, what is that? Um, 60, 60 fiberglass, and... Also, I've just picked up a new mission. Fortunately, it was via, you know, Radio Freedom, not via, you know, flipping Preston. So as a result of that, I don't need to worry about going back to Preston. Everything's fine. So, I mean, this is... This is kind of perfect. They don't even bloody weigh anything either. This is... Well, this has worked out beautifully well. And yeah, I'll be taking these. They're a bit heavy. The right arm, I think, could especially be... Hang on, no. Is the right arm where I've got the, um... Oh, the right arm's assassin. No, I can't lose assassin. Assassin's too useful. So we might store that one away. And as for the chest piece, that's... Okay. That's sturdy, so that's mid-range between basic and, uh, basic and heavy. Has it got anything else on it, by the way? No, that's basic and it's already 25-25. Uh, and yeah, the synth gear is already upgraded, though it's empowered, and it's only at 1721. Though it is lighter, so uh, I could get more protection off the sturdy combat. But I feel like action point refresh is actually genuinely useful, so uh, we'll probably keep that in that case. Yeah, I think we'll just leave the chest piece here. It's a bit heavy. Then again, I'm not carrying much right now. It's got good value. We'll take it for now. Why not? And finally, I'm probably being a bit inconsistent, but I'm feeling a bit, you know, uh, not good about just selling the uh, the power fist for a giant pile of money. So uh, that can just stay here on Swan's corpse. Rest in peace, Swan. In fact, I believe I might be able to get myself a handful more as well, if I recall correctly. Hang on, I know there's rad barrels around here. Right, this here is going to be the first run out of the um, the hazmat suit. So I lose my cloaking immediately, obviously. But I've still got plenty of uh, carry capacity and whatnot, so that's absolutely fine. So yes, I'm now pretty much immune to uh, any form of rads whatsoever, but I can't wear any actual uh, armor. Now I'm sure he's got himself like a little chest. Yeah, I'm taking a tiny, tiny amount of uh, rads from all of this. So cap stash, uh, I'll be taking all of that too. I'll be taking... I can't take that actually. Uh, can I not take any of this? I thought there were... I thought there were more, but like, I kind of thought the whole point was I could take, like, more of them. Okay, maybe we just get the flip out of dodge, actually. I kind of thought that there were more flipping swan fragments, but for some reason the game's not letting me pick them up. So, okay, that's all absolutely fine, because I was wearing a hazmat suit. I will say that was fine, that was actually 12 rads, which is... Okay, I'm going to be honest, I thought we are flipping a thousand, you know, rad resistance, it was going to be... Less than that. Okay, so I've just given up a tiny, tiny amount of health, but that's fine. We've got plenty of spare health bar, because, you know, I've been shot, so it's not a problem. Yeah, I think those barrels are, like, super ridiculously radioactive or something, so... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That unexpected excitement aside, that was very good fun indeed. Uh, now we just keep on keeping on. Uh, try and avoid... Uh, actually, you know what? If there's an opportunity... To build up any crits. I wouldn't say no. I don't have a great VAT shot against this guy. But to be honest. I won't say no to a little bit of, you know, free XP. That's always nice when you can just get some XP for free. And a psycho's not nothing. But no one heard it. So, okay. I'm just too stealthy for my own damn good at this point. Also completely forgot this random gunner at the back of the uh, cemetery. That's not bad at all. I shan't say no to a Molotov cocktail and a handful of uh, caps. Nothing too dramatic there. Already cleared this place out though. So, okay. You may notice we're already getting, you know, uh, pretty darn close to our destination here. So, uh, there's a couple of different ways uh, we could go. We could just go straight down the street in this direction. You can also see, you know what? Screw 
you, and you took... Okay, that was a bit... There you go. Now you're a bit on the dead side. Lovely. Uh, you're now dead, but there's a lot on this street. Like, there's going to be, I think, um, dogs one side, and, like, there's going to be some ghouls on the other side, and there's going to be super mutants further up, so... It's not the best place to be. You're a bit surrounded. So, there is an alternative route. If we just go a little bit further along this direction, keeping a really close eye on, yeah, the Super Mutant Cafe right here. Which was peaceful last time I passed by, but you never can be sure. Yes, there's the high road right here. So, I can use the high road to bypass pretty much all of that, but... There are going to be raiders. Still, I've got stealth. I have got, you know, snipey weapons. I can penetrate their armor. I was thinking of maybe nuking them or nuking some of the guys on the street. But obviously that's, uh, that's not going to fly anymore. And seriously, I don't like how there was only ever one mutant in this direction. There should be more than one and I don't flipping like it. In fact, hang on. I've only got, ooh. I'm literally sitting on one crit right now, which is... Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of which enemies are where in this area. And I'm also going to turn off Radio Freedom because it's starting to annoy me. Lovely. So, yeah, I know I've got um, dogs and, uh, yeah, ghouls around here. They are relatively low threat. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and pick them off in order to build uh, a crit in case I need... Uh, an emergency crit in a minute. Now, where's the... Okay, there's a ghoul over there. And the dog appears to be already dead. Which is not entirely what I was expecting, but okay. Now, you can just go... How many of them are there? Okay, there's you. Aha! Legendary Reaver. Okay. I was, you know, planning to not have to use crits... But, like, that would be a good... Screw it. We got a good shot at him. He's done. Good. Now, you're alert to me. But I've not got the best shot at you. Where are you about to go, my friend? And you're not going this way, are you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Get nice and close. Take a shot. Here we go. Let's start building up the crits here. And number two. Still not alert to me. So we should get the 2.5 on Ninja. Down you go. Lovely. And now we're building up the crits. And we've got an unexpected bit of uh, legendary gear. Right, just three ghouls. That's not much at all. And around the corner in here, I was kind of expecting a ghoul around this corner. So, uh, I mean, this isn't, this isn't the worst thing, really. Yeah, there we go. This is good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. You guys can just, you know... Be dead. I'll be taking a gold watch. Gold is not bad at all. And just be ready for, you know, trouble. I won't say no to... Ah, water. Okay, now that's good. Now, you guys came around here. That's just the fire I'm hearing, isn't it? Though, ooh, there are raiders now up above me. Still, these guys have been taken care of, which is good. So that's just some uh, free stuff right here. Kind of trash, to be honest. And, uh, oh, well, that's flipping disappointing. Yeah, safe crackers is pretty much as bad as it gets. That's just kind of uh, kind of garbage because, one, the uh, little lockpicking minigame is not difficult. And two, I'm not really going lockpicking because basically in this game... Lockpicking will always disappoint you. Containers you open never seem to contain anything good. Doors you open are never actually shortcuts. They're just side rooms with more loot. So, uh, yeah. Any good parts on it? No. It's, uh, actually, hang on, that's 1717. That might be sturdy. So, it feels a bit high for basic, but standard, uh, nothing on it. No, I'm leaving that. It's just not that good. Honestly, I will take a plastic spoon... Over that. Because a plastic spoon at least has value down the line. Dear oh flippin' dear. And 308 ammo. Okay, we're finding good stuff here eventually. Marvellous. Okay, so that leaves me with one crit. And yeah, about maybe a third or a half of a way uh, towards the next one. I wouldn't mind doing this on the ground. And the reason I say that is because... Hang on, aren't we coming up on... There's some mole rats sometimes in this area. I think they might spawn in over there. 
and I don't like that because mole rats are, you know, a problem. Okay, that's the um, the Water Street Apartments. What's in there? I'm trying to remember what's actually, you know, in there. You just had a basic board. That's not a problem. I'm hearing movement. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, uh, those stairs over there. That's what I'm going for. I need to get up the fire escape to uh, that door. What's in the Water Street Apartments? I can't remember, but I'm just going to nose inside to see what it is. Is this tied to the Silver Shroud? It feels vaguely Silver Shroudy. My brain's saying, hang on, isn't this, you know, a part of the Silver Shroud? It could be. I can't remember. But whatever I'm seeing, I'm not seeing an advanced locked door to a room that's... Well, that's fascinating. Okay, I think we're fine, actually. I'm not sure we need uh, any of this. Though I'll never say no to a fan, damn it. And for emergencies, a quantum, not so flipping bad either. Okay, couple of good things here at least. Okay, step back outside. There's... There's fighting now. Is there anything down here, by the way? There's... There's a way up to the roof, like a long way up. Seems to be calming down now. I'm not sure I need that for anything. I know there's more around here. And yeah, there's the... Then again, can the raiders... The raiders are weak. Okay, if the raiders are weak, I'm going to loop round back to where I was a second ago. And I'm going to clear out the raiders. Because apparently, someone's already done a bit of damage to them. I'm not sure who, because they're kind of like on their own. Possibly they were the ones who took out the dog. I was expecting to see... No, they're not in the right position for that. Okay, I don't know, but somebody has done a bit of my job for me, and I'll flip and take it. Okay, I know they're up there. I know there's at least one scaver who is weak. And I've seen a legendary spawn here, because some spots just seem to be more or less likely to attract the attention of uh, a legendary. And this, to my mind, is one of the ones that... There we go. So I see you. And I see... Okay, I'm well back from them at the minute. What have we got here? Scava, scava. No, not today. All right. Most of you guys are pretty on the weak side. I'm just a bit concerned. Then again, I've got a good shooting gallery here. You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to pick you off. And we're going to see if maybe they don't even detect. Okay, they're aware. They're aware of this. And go. And I'd like the next one to be manual. No, not manual. The opposite of manual. Where's the other one? He might start... I just need to take the shot. Because I was a bit worried that he might start blind firing. And I couldn't really move because there's nowhere to go. So, well, it's experience. It's experience and it does mean I've got, yeah, a bit of high ground here. So, uh, if need be, I could take some pot shots at, you know, uh, other things. Which is nice. So, from up here, I'm in a pretty safe position to uh, just, you know, have a bit of a looksy down at the stuff below. Okay, anybody got anything good, 45? I won't turn down that. That's not bad at all, though. Uh, yeah, there's definitely more trouble around here. But from up here, yeah, I've got good cover to snipe down at it. Whatever it is, though, I'm now overtired. Okay, we need to speed this up a bit. I'm getting too uh, overtired, which is not good. Okay, there's my destination. The staircase right there. I've eaten, so I'm back to where I should be in terms of... Uh, Endurance. Is there anything up here, by the way? Not that I can see. There's a bit of light over here. And that gunfire is distant. So that's not too bad at all. Okay, just... I thought there was more here. I thought there was way more here, but okay. This is... Uh, if this is all there is, then that's, that's fine. To be honest, that's not a major problem at all. Just get over here. Can I drop down from here? Is this safe? You know what? It looks... I'm not taking the risk, okay? <laughs> Welcome to You Only Live Once, where I'm not taking even minor risks. I don't need to. Time is against me, and uh, I've only got one crit. That's a problem. The fact I've only got one crit is a problem. Okay, and... 
where's the where's the mole rat spawning spot? I know there is one around here. And something around here is. I think it's over there. I think I'm fine. Just follow this exact route on the way out. Because, yeah, you can just go the high road, then jump over, and then be like... More fire over there somewhere. Don't know what that is, but it does involve me. It's nice and far away. No one's, you know, even near to detecting me. We are golden. So, uh, this here, this is why this is probably the best spot for this to have spawned. Because literally I just need to go in here, clear out this room, and then we're done. The problem is that's a little bit harder than I've just made it sound. Because uh, there's going to be a fair few gunners. Any chance of... Uh, I see... Random Brahmin. Bit on the odd side, but okay. You know what? I will never say no to, you know, a bit of free, lovely experience. Trading ammo for experience are always a good idea. I don't know what you're doing here, friend, but you're perturbing me a bit. Oh, I see gunners down there. You know what? I've actually got an okay shot at this one. Even though it kind of feels like I shouldn't at this range. I'm going to take it. Down you go. And uh, take shots. Down you go. Excellent. Was that enough for... No, it wasn't. But I'm closer to two crits. And I won't say no to dead gunners. A dead gunner is... Okay, so we're just basically sniping... Excuse me. You're supposed to be... You're supposed to be... There you go. You got him that time. And we're so, so bloody close to the next. Okay, if I don't see a gunner in a second, I'm taking a shot at the cow. I'm really sorry. But I just kind of need, uh, you know, uh, to have uh, what I need here. And... Ah! Perfect. Down you go. Did you just... No, never mind. That was just, you know, a bit of a slow motion traveling bullet right there. Clearing most of a gunner camp is a positive thing. And I should now... There we go. I've got my two crits. I feel better about that. Because, yes, this next room is not the easiest thing in the world. It's a bit of a faff, actually. So I know precisely what I'm walking into here. And I need to go very, very slowly. Through that door is a single room. In that room, there's... I hope they can't see me through the ceiling, by the way, because I just saw them moving. There's going to be two people seated right there. Okay. And then there's going to be two people upstairs. Four gunners total in a very small room. But I'm already really close by to the cache. That's why this is the best one. Because it's only like 14... Is it feet or meters? I don't know what unit we're, um, we're working in here. But the point is, uh, yes, kind of uh, not... Not good. Very small environment, many people with guns. So I've set my throwable as my one and only plasma grenade. I was about to show you the damage that that did, but like, I think that says 187, 187. It's powerful, anyway, because I don't know what I'm going, uh, what I'm going up against. So everything's, everything's under control. I want to not get spotted by these guys. I want to go in, toss the grenade. Can I hit you, by the way? No. I don't think I can hit you, and I'm not sure you can detect me either. So I just want to go in, toss the grenade, close the door, and then wait them out. In fact, I might step back outside. Door. Okay, and go. What? Go. What? Close door. Close door. Close door. Okay, that was one dead. I don't think that was two. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. But they don't know where I am. Do I want to be close to the door? I want to be close to the door, actually. They're going the wrong way. Oh, yes. Okay, this is... Okay, you need to die. Okay, now cancel. And I need to... He's going to take a shot at me. Did he get a shot off? Did he get a shot off? I don't know if he got a shot off. And also, I'd like the door to be closed again, please. I'd, I'd really like that. I'll, I'll, I'll take it if you just let me... Just let me... Let me close the cocky door. Okay. Yeah... Are we good? My stealth had just about kept me uh, not spotted long enough to take the second shot there. Yeah, I'm using the uh, the penetrating, by the way. If you can't tell, because it's invisible. Because, you know, I figured uh, the gunners, they're going to have armor. And we're almost ready for hidden. Okay, that's pretty much as good as it could have gone, to be honest. Though there is the slight issue that now I don't know where the other guy is. He's probably... Up top. 
but I can't hear a thing. And I want him to go down before anything else happens. How am I doing on crits, by the way? I've got a good solid two. I haven't used one yet. Well, he's not... Well, he could be in the corridor. Because I definitely heard them open this door. I don't like this. 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 I could just get in and get out again. Okay, go here. Someone went this way. I know there's a fourth one. Around the corner here. And yeah, this here. This is the secret panel. Which... Oh, there he is. I really hope that's not a fifth one who's in like the next room. Down you go. Okay, we've got the cache. The door's opened. Uh, the game says like, hey, this is a, you know, secret cache for... Like the railroad, so don't touch it. But you can. You can just touch it anyway if you feel like it. It's fine. In fact, holy flipping heck, that's... That's a 50 caliber sniper rifle. Now that is... That's one a hell of a thing, isn't it? Um, so, okay. That's got the 50 cal receiver. I could take that off this thing and put that on my penetrating and... Uh, Bloody hell, that's... Okay, that would mean my old... Uh, yeah, my old kind of uh, pipe weapon was pretty much retired at this point. So, uh, it'll be sad to see you go, old girl, but I'm not saying no to that. And what's this, by the way? And... Uh, okay, that is a boosted photon agitator. Hmm. Boosted photon agitator. That's good in terms of, uh, yeah, crits, but with the automatic barrel. And a gyro compensating lens, which is not reflex. So, uh, don't want to bother taking that, just to break it down for parts. I mean, it's pretty light. I may as well take it. Pulse grenade, take the fusion cells, obviously take the ammo. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm walking away from this with more loot than I was expecting, but I'll flip and take it. Then you get all sorts of obscure ammo types. So gamma, plasma, you've got yourself anything noteworthy here. Combat shotgun again. Combat shotguns are so good, but they don't suit YOLO because, you know, you don't want to be close enough to be using the damn things. So no, and they're just too heavy and the shells are just too heavy. It just doesn't work. So we're going to be taking pretty much... We're going to be cleaning it out, actually. Next time a person comes through here, they're going to find a tuxedo and a shotgun. That's that's going to be it. And also, I'm taking the stealth boy, too. And, uh, okay, you may have the crappy basic sniper rifle. That's fine. I don't need that. So now, now we don't need to bother, you know, taking out the rest of it or anything. Just be ready, because there's definitely more. There could be another person, yeah. You got anything, by the way? I'll take all of that off you. Don't need that. Check. Fusion cells. Uh, fusion cell 30. I won't say no. Uh, any chance? No, that's a basic laser pistol. Okay. Now, now we just go. That's it. That's the entire mission. So, uh, yeah, I kind of lucked out there. The other two you could draw are a lot more tricky than that nonsense. Also, while I'm here, I'm going to be honest and bloody careful with these things. I'm really sorry, Mr. Cow. But I want the extra critical. So we're just going to be taking out the uh, the cow there. There you go. Almost got that. Anything or anybody else we could shoot? Or are we good? I think we're good. Now, I wouldn't mind going straight back to Pam at this point. But how far away is she? And how much do I trust the route there? If I return to the mass fusion building... From there, I'm extremely close to uh, Cabot House if I just cut a tiny bit north. Then I'm back at the um, the top of the river. Then I'm almost there. Uh, yeah, the back entrance to uh, Railroad. Because the back entrance is just before you hit Pickman Gallery. That's so close, I'd kind of be a fool not to do it. And if I don't like the look of the road north, I can just take the road west and join up with the edge right there. So... Uh, 
Yeah, now I just need to retrace my steps back down towards uh, the street that leads to Good Neighbor, because that's going to be fine. And yeah, before I do that, just use the uh, the high ground I've got to verify. Okay, you're dead for some reason. I'm pretty sure I wasn't the one that killed you, but you are dead, so, you know, I'll take that as a win. Then just straight across the front of the building. And we should be... I think that might be... The mole rat spawn because those corpses give it away. So I'm not I'm not going up to them. I'm just going straight back out the middle. All right. Are we good? I think we're good. Yeah, I'm going to try and turn this in straight away. And then we're going home to potentially, if, you know, things don't bug out at all, get ourselves a flipping a ballistic weave. Oh, that, that's going to be nice right there. So uh, straight through here. Now, pass by the less super mutants than I'm expecting area. But then we've already taken out the... Something is around here. Just... But I don't think it's the super mutants. The thing is, these streets are often so close together, you can sort of, you know, just trigger the slightest shuffle from... That was more than the slightest shuffle. What's going on here? Well, I've already taken out you. I've already taken out the dogs around there. So now I just need to pick a road going off, yeah, the uh, the mass fusion building. Either we go this way, straight to the river, or we go north to join up with Cabot. Now, do I even have a choice, or is this properly blocked up? Get over here. Well, I'm seeing corpses, so that's, you know, pretty positive, all things considered. In fact, aha, just a random junkie. I'll be helping myself to all of your stuff right there. Okay, so uh, Pikmin's calling card. Okay, so that's fine. We already know about Pikmin's gallery, and we're not going in. I'll just help myself to, you know, all your stuff. It's all A-OK. -okay. And then right there, if I can see that far... And the brackets are nice and calm. We should be able to walk straight down over to... I don't know, being this close to cars! Okay, didn't die on this occasion. That's marvellous. That looks like raids defences. I think we're close by to the Charlestown Amphitheatre, aren't we? Okay. And are we good? I think we're back in... We're back in safe territory. By which I mean, I still don't know where the raider is... Who are missed. There's definitely a raider who's alive up top. But at night with shadowed if I'm moving slowly. There should be no chance they detect me. So uh, this should uh, be fine. Just as long as I keep things uh, nice and slow right here. I should be A-OK. -okay. I mean it might get a bit you know a bit more fighty as I go over the open space. There's definitely someone up there. I just don't know precisely who or where. Well, we're past it now, and the brackets are looking pretty darn chill. There's Bunker Hill with a building that hasn't really properly loaded in, so pretend you didn't see that. Uh, yes, then we just go around over here, and this area should be, yeah, we should now be golden. I can now go between just sprinting and just ducking just to make sure we're fine. But at this point, we should be, we should be absolutely flipping golden to go straight to the back entrance to... Uh, then again, I think that might be... I think there might be some raiders in, like, a back alley that's, like, you know, alongside this one. But, okay, maybe it's not, like, you know, as 100% safe as I'm selling it. But, like, you know, it's mostly safe. The important thing is, however, yeah, we got revenge against Pikmin's gallery. And that means if we just hop over here, we can go in the back way to save ourselves some time. Okay, now, come on, game. Do not mess up. Give me what I deserve. Come on, Pam. Treat me right here. Guns away. Let's have a chat to you. The job is done. That's great, Agent. Those provisions will really help Organization Railroad. Here's your reward. Have a good day. You're about to over-encumber me, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Randolph safe house. Yes, yes, I know, I know, but I, I need to drop some stuff before I cripple my legs, okay? Just chill out for a second here. Oh, this reminds me, by the way, um, if you see, like, when you go over encumbered, the health bar go a bit weird. That doesn't mean I've taken damage. That just means there's a temporary effect 
as a result of being over encumbered, which is agility minus two, endurance minus two. So that means the health bar shuffles. Um, you don't actually take damage for like a brief grace period, which is very kind of the game. So that there, that's nice. And you're supposed to have faded by now, but whatever. Everything's under control. It's fine. I just need to, you know, drop some stuff for a second. But yeah, you'll see there, even though uh, my max hit points has gone down, I've still only dropped 40 total. So the fact the health bar just shuffled a bit doesn't mean I took damage. If I take damage, you'll see like a screen shudder, the character will grunt, etc, etc. So that just means, yeah, over encumbered comes with uh, a couple of little debuffs there. You know what? I'm just going to dump that heavy leather right arm because let's be honest, I'm then again. That's actually... It is heavy gear. I need to dump something, damn it. Okay, let's just get rid of this thing. Because let's be honest, I'm not going to use this thing. Boosted Photon is just... Yeah, I mean, 36 damage. But then that's with the automatic, actually, with the... Okay, bloody hell. I don't know what to get rid of. Oh, they just gave me a Focus Boosted Laser Pistol. That was the reward, and it does actually have... It's flipping got a reflex sight on it. And a Beam Focuser. That's... Okay, they've actually just given me a reward that I actually need. So that's... Well, this is all very awkward. Okay, dump the sturdy armor. It's really heavy, and by the time I'm ever going to use the thing, it's going to be redundant, because I'll have found something else better. That's just too heavy, get rid of it. And that begins Randolph Safe House 1, but jackpot's now been completed, so I need somebody to be telling me about how much I need to go and speak to Tom right now. Because of- oh, I'm getting thirsty again. Everything's fine, drummer boy. Please speak to me, drummer boy. Hey. You're the one that scored the DIA cash, right? Tom's dying to talk to you about it. Yes, that sounds promising. Tom wants to talk to me. Tom, where's Tom? You're not Tom, but you're standing where Tom should be. Does anyone know where Tom is? Tom, you better want to talk to me about bloody, you know, reinforced hats or something. The creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weave. Yes, we got it. We absolutely got it. Yes, he is talking about ballistic weave. Okay, he's got some in stock. He will just sell me it. But on top of that, no, 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 no. Me and you need to have a chat about this ballistic weave thing and how you're going to teach me how to make it, damn it. And there it is, giant piles of armoured stuff. So now undergear can have, uh, yeah, some actually really damn good damage resistance on it. And seriously, it's it's good stuff. Like, plus 30, that will boost my total overall damage and energy resistance by, uh, what, maybe 30-40% at the moment? It is a huge, huge benefit. It is great. Oh, and here it flipping is I was worried for a second. He didn't specifically say, hey, let me show you how to make this. He just started selling it. So I was getting worried the game and suddenly bugged out there. But no, it is now showing up. We now have the option to do this. Also, um, let's talk all about the things that John got wrong. We didn't even have to wait till the following week on this occasion. So actually, yeah, a uh, swan gives you fiberglass, which is fine, but it's not the rarest thing in the world. Uh, the thing that I need to get from Clio and like, you know, other shops because it's super rare is actually ballistic fiber. And that still is super rare. So basically, yes, um, I've already realized my mistake within the same episode, uh, which is great. I mean, we've got the fiberglass. That's nice. But we do still need to, uh, yeah, go shopping for something else. But seriously, just just look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous and I love it. Oh, and that reminds me, by the way. Okay, so I've installed a mod on this occasion, all right? This is a new mod for this episode. I've installed a mod that lets you put Weaver on all hats. Not like helmets or anything, just hats. Because Fallout 4 is weird insofar as pretty much like, you know, every different type of uh, Under Armour can take Weaver. But there's only like four or five hats in the entire game that will take a Weave. Meaning it's really boring because you always end up wearing the same hat. Because you'd be mad not to wear a hat that's got Weave on it. So every character I play as has, you know, for some reason a fascination with the same bloody battered fedora. So... I've modded the game so every hat will take a weave, alright? You may choose to do or not do that yourself if you're playing along at home. I'll link to the mod in the description below. But basically it does nothing aside from saying, okay, now hats can take weave. Which I think is fine. It's not really a gameplay advantage because it doesn't mean you can have any more armor than you'd be able to have previously. Just it gives you a bit more variety with the number of hats you can wear. So I don't really see it as against even the spirit of You Only Live Once. So... If you want to install that, go right ahead as far as I'm concerned. So, yes, I can keep my military cap. 
I don't need to swap it out for yet another character who for some reason enjoys wearing a battered fedora. Now, important thing here, I need to be, yeah, taking all the stuff off and, oh dear, I need bloody... Right, okay, I can't do my weapon crafting here, because I don't have any adhesive with me, so I can't replace that with uh, basic sights. Beam focuser is, uh, yeah, range accuracy and recoil, so I need to take that thing off, but I need... Uh, I could potentially... Okay, if I can just get myself a single... No, I don't need that, I just need... Uh, I need one adhesive. If Tom's selling a single adhesive, I can break this thing down right now. Oh no, he only sells shipments, so okay, we're gonna have to wait till we get back to base, unfortunately. Oh, he also gave me, um, a basic sweater vest, so no. 10 and 10 with one charisma, that's not gonna fly. You can have that back for three caps. Oh yes, and the reason you may have noticed if you're particularly eagle-eyed that the, uh, the pompadour wig was missing earlier is because, yes, it shows up down at the bottom now because hats that are hats are labelled as hats just so you know what's a hat versus what's a helmet. Because, yeah, there's various mods that do this, that you apply, you know, more weave to different items, but the vast majority of them also let you put weave on a helmet, and that strikes me as unfair because, you know, it's clearly supposed to be on uh, items that are hats because uh, you're in disguise in, like, civilian clothes, uh, but you're well protected anyway, because it's the railroad and there's secret agents and whatever. So putting it on a helmet strikes me as, like, you know, weird. So instead, yes, things that are hats and thus count for hats now are marked as uh, hats. Except, hang on, the, the military cap isn't. So... Okay, maybe that's just marked as a hat, because you might not think it was a hat. But the wig, for some reason, is marked as a hat, and I assume that's the mod, because that's the only thing I've changed this week. Right, I'm getting tired, I am getting, yes, in desperate need of sleep, so uh, it's time to flip and go, though now I know that uh, I completely misunderstood what I was getting off Swan's corpse, we might need to swing by good neighbour on the way back anyway. Still, I suppose it's fortunate that now I've got, yes, precisely what I need in terms of that exact shortcut, because now I know I've got a clear path back towards mass fusion, and that's right by good neighbours. So, okay, let's go see Cleo right now. In fact, actually, have I ever... I'm not sure if I've ever actually been inside good neighbour before. So, okay, that might be uh, brand new for me, actually. I might need to do, you know, the intro sequence where I just, you know, meet the important locals on my way in. So here we go. Just past the building with the mysterious person on top who we can't bloody track down. There's... Oh, is that the playground with the bear in it? I bet that's the playground with the bear in it. Okay, don't go into the playground with the bear in it, because there's a bear in it and bears eat you. Uh, so we just work around that. And it was just... Yeah, straight on past the corpses. If you don't see the corpses, you've gone the wrong way. That gets me to here. And the dogs around the corner already... That was just trash or something. I was tripping over. That's fine. Uh, just double check the dogs are actually dead. I thought I got them already right. Yeah, the dogs there are dead. And good neighbour. Good. Good, 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 good. Marvellous, in fact. And here we go. I suspect someone's about to try and mug me, and they're going to regret it very, very soon indeed. Dear, oh dear, Finn. You don't last long in this game, do ya? Here we go. Here comes Hancock. Just going to give this guy a friendly stabbing. And there we go. If we're lucky, you might have some good stuff on him. There we go. Free money. I won't say no to free money. Thank you, Hancock. And in fact, while I'm here thinking about it, Daisy, you've got yourself a little quest for me to just drop off a book at the library, don't you? And the library's already clear, so to be honest, I kind of may as well do that. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. I could just tell her, you know, that the mutants are dead at this point, but screw it. It's easy just to, you know, take the book, etc, etc, and... Uh, Okay, I'll be right back. Hang on, can I actually afford to take off my... You know what? I'll just do it. I'm more in it for the XP than the money anyway. I'll just do it without, you know, pushing my luck. Though, ooh, I can say I already did it. Oh, go on, I'll be honest. Actually, I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Huh. Now that's service for you. Here's your money. Oh, and why don't you take this old book of mine? Been holding on to it for a while. If you ever happen to go back there. Okay, free money, free XP. I'm not going to say no to that. Not bad at all. And yeah, once again, if you're passing by shops, always check what they've got. Oh, flip me. She's got... She's got an even better rifle. So that's improved sniper barrel, which is better than the... 
Okay, I kind of want to take that too. Oh, bloody hell, I need to stop picking up more weapons. Okay, seriously, I've got too many cocking guns, but that one's... Uh, that one's even better than what I've got. That's 147 damage! And the game's vaguely trying to, you know, tempt me to going over to, uh, plasma. That is, yeah, plasma scatter gun. So, fire rate of 33. So, yeah, kind of like, uh, that's the, uh, the shotgun variant, I believe. I can do without that. Until I've got science, there's just not much I'm going to be able to do with plasma. No, I've got to take that. And I'm pretty sure I can carry it now I've got rid of the, um, uh, the chest piece. So, uh, 500 caps. Oh, that's going to be... Okay, I'll be back with you in a second. At the bare minimum, I'm going to actually... No, John. John, 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 John. You're about to make some big purchases. You know what we do here. We've discussed this. One, because you've actually not got much carry capacity on your legs, we should be able to... So if I do this... Yes, I can just get away with this, but... Oh. Then when she gives me the gun, I then need to immediately change her out of the red dress in front of her, just in case... Oh, is that worth the risk? Okay, I'm gonna do without that, just because I'm a bit nervous about the possibility of basically don't go over encumbered, because I don't know how much of, you know, the grace period you get is guaranteed, versus how much of it is just, you know, probabilities and dice rolls. So, I'm not gonna take the risk. Though obviously, yes, we can still have the glasses, we can have the hat, and on top of that, it's first proper run out here, we can have completely safe grape Mentats. Charisma 5, and on top of that, yeah, 10% for buying and selling. Love it. Down to 300 caps. Flipping love it. Now that's one a hell of a saving. In fact, yeah, for just one antibiotic, seven buff out a Radaway and two Stimpax, she'll flipping pay me. Oh, now this. This I could get used to. You know what? While I'm passing by, I'll top up the, uh, the 0.5 hours. That's about to start getting, oh wow, 96 for 16. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. Now, quickly next door to lovely Miss Cleo as well. Unfortunately, thanks to all those drugs and my glasses and my wig, I can just afford a single shipment of ballistic fiber. This thing is, uh, it's bloody expensive, but it's always going to be the limiting factor, so you kind of may as well, yes. I mean, that's got to be the right decision. It's expensive, but it would have been a lot more. Right, that's that taken care of. Time for me to get home, because seriously, the weight situation is, um, it's getting out of hand. Although, to be honest, hang on, there is, there is a bar here. Okay, hang on, I need to visit the bar for one important thing too, though honestly, I can't really afford it anymore. Good sir, I need whiskey to make great mentats with, and I will pay basically anything for them. Two whiskeys at nine apiece. Flipping a... Bargain. Gotta love having charisma this bloody high. Okay, now seriously, I have to go. Now, I'm really tired. Okay, now perfect world, I need to nip by, yeah, Diamond City on the way back home. So, uh, soon as we are clear of the potentially still mutanty building here, we should be... Okay, didn't realise you were going to be... You're legendary. Okay, I do not need legendary right now. I'm very over encumbered, but I mean, I'm not going to say no to flipping legendary stuff here. So just take you out, then take you out to. Oh, there's more of you at the back, aren't there? Okay, well that's that's all absolutely fine. Cause for some reason you're not attacking me, so that's that's good. Um, please don't be good. I kind of want this to suck, otherwise this could actually be a you know a bit of a problem actually. So where are you? Good! That's awful. I don't need that in any way, though it's kind of frustrating because uh, crippling's actually really good, but a board is obviously no, not doing that. Right, as I was saying, we need to, you know, flipping get moving here. Stuff to do, and I'm getting increasingly exhausted. Oh, and Starlight Drive-In is apparently under attack. I do not flipping care. Nothing important there. No problem whatsoever. Leave it be. Not an issue. Ah, on the way back though. Finally got a good shot of that bloody psycho who's been causing me so much trouble. So, you can go down nice and fast, my friend. Uh, any chance of... Uh, there's another person downstairs. I think there might be a second, but... 
If there is, they're less interested in me, so... Okay, I've just made this route a whole lot bloody safer. So, victory after victory today, quite frankly. Okay, back at Diamond City, we have got ourselves... Oh, yeah. There's some more great mentats, so now I've got three. So I've got, like, you know, a few spare, though I do still need a bit more whiskey, a few more mentats at some point or another. The great mentats last for bloody ages, by the way. They just sort of hang around forever. So, yeah, uh, okay. Those don't just last 15 seconds. I was thinking of Psycho Jet. This lasts, like, you know, a fair whack of time. And um, bit of a misty day, but it does not matter because we are home. Good. Good, good, good. That, uh, that feels good. That's what I love about survival mode. When you can't, you know, teleport home, it feels a lot better when you actually get back here. That's, uh, that's marvellous. So, uh, just quickly, uh, have myself a drink, dump all of the junk, etc, etc. Just got a few bits and pieces to take care of here. So yes, just uh, get rid of that. Okay, that, that wasn't that much junk, to be honest. Okay, let's start pulling these guns apart, because yeah, we might have some uh, really powerful opportunities here. And in particular, yeah, this is, uh, this is the big one. So uh, my main sniper rifle is currently on... Uh, hang on, give me the, uh, the full here. So calibrated powerful... Ooh... Calibrator powerful means, yeah, that's going to be better when it comes to uh, crits. But that's a lot of power to uh, to give up on. Long light, full magazine, long scope suppressor. Okay. As opposed to this thing that is 148. That's so much more power. That's so much more power. And it actually comes with the marksman stock. Though, to be honest, that's extra weight for not a huge amount of benefits. So. Okay. We'll take that off. All right, we've got plenty of materials. I say plenty. Oil is already running dangerously low. It always is. And apparently it just had a standard, so that's nice. Uh, and then you've got to also have... Yeah, we're going to take that off. Uh, do I have... Uh, okay, just a short stock. And at this point, there's a bit more uh, XP off Idiosavorn there. So now you are just suppressed. Do I need anything else off you? I mean, there is the medium quick, but then that's just extra extra weight for... Okay, we'll just attach the standard because we may as well. There's no reason to just toss that out. So, uh, now that's suppressed. Okay, and screw it. I'm, I'm taking the suppressor off in case I need another one for no well-explained reason. So, uh, this thing is now just trash and we're just going to scrap it immediately. Alright, then we go over to uh, this old girl. So, now I can go from full to marksman. So, uh, yeah... It's recoil and better aim with scope for, like, for 0 0.6 weight. Go on. I'll have it. Why not? That's all absolutely fine. I mean, it looks fancier. It does look nice and fancy now. And then my choice is, uh, yeah, calibrated powerful, which I can't make for myself. I'm pretty sure I just found that on a gun. And this is, yeah, behind gun nut three. So that's a lot more flipping powerful. And it says improved rate of fire, but well, I guess it actually is, yes. Like, 33% more, which is uh, not nothing. Accuracy and range are unchanged. Okay, attach that for now, because I'm not committing any resources. Uh, this is just doing a bit of a swapsy roundy. So if I do that, what's the point of you these days? Because uh, you could have calibrated powerful, but to be honest, is... Is there any point? Are we actually ready to retire you? Then again, if you're using 308, 118 on a sniper rifle. And it would be superior when it came to the crits. The thing is, I just want something to be running 308. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to be running low on ammo. I'm going to build that right now. So that's now going to be that. And uh, is that fine? Yeah, I think that's fine. So, okay. How are we doing on the old weight front right now? 188. Okay, plenty of spare weight capacity. We're okay for the minute. Now, this is where things are going to start getting a bit, um, uh, yes, weird. Because now I have got three guns that have all got good bits and pieces on them. And that's also excluding the fact, John, you need to go and get... You need to go and get the gun that's going to be... Well, hang on. Is my existing gun going to be the base? Because... Uh, None of them are legendary. Okay, scratch that. Um, I have now got four laser weapons, and I'm kind of hoping between all of them, one might be like, you know, good. So, uh, this one's just a pistol. And then, hang on, boosted capacitor is... 
Okay, overcharged is apparently like the best and Cleo has an overcharged. I just didn't think that was better than... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, boosted photon agitator is what I really want. Because this is going to be a day-to-day -day weapon and that means crits are going to be the order of the day. That's arguably more important. So uh, the booster capacitor is garbage. Don't need this, don't need that. Do need that. So build uh, one standard sight and uh, yeah, take the um the beam focuser off. And now that thing can just be broken down. All right, so that can just go and that's plastic. And that's actually good. Plastic is really good. So uh, you're maximized, you're maximized. Uh, you're weirdly like a boosted photon agitator, which I think is actually kind of what I want. And that's the basis I want for... The day to day weapon, darn it. I didn't realise Cleo's overcharge was actually better. Dear, I flipping dear. Okay. So this has got the sniper barrel. That's got the improved sniper barrel. So if I did want to go with uh, improved sniper, then again, is this. I don't know what role this is playing. Then again, oh, hang on. No, John, this can now be a sniper weapon because you're retiring the older. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. Now we understand. Now we understand. Okay. Maximized is 1-5. Oh, yeah. We definitely want boosted photon agitator. Then again, if it's a sniper weapon, do we? Maybe we we don't. Because if we don't want the improved... Uh, I mean, the improved sniper barrel is... Oh, this is going to take... That's science, too. That's nice. That's going to take some... Uh, oh, this is going to take a bit of bloody thought. Okay, take off the boosted photon agitator, which is the, yes, better with criticals, which is really good. So we definitely want to at least have access to one of them. Do we have any of this to attach? No, we don't. So we have to waste some uh, supplies, unfortunately, but that's fine. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. What does that even do? That's just superior recoil. And uh, to be honest, I feel like the, yeah, the focuser is going to be better because that's going to be, that's going to be range. Okay, so that thing can now be broken down too. So now it's just between these two. And they're very, very similar to each other. Aside from the fact that, yes, that is medium night vision versus medium just normal. Can I just take the scope off, by the way? I think I've got some standard sights, don't I? What do I actually have available to me? No, I don't. So, okay. I'd rather have... The normal medium scope. I don't want night vision. That doesn't really help me. It kind of makes things sometimes a lot harder to see. So, yeah, it's going to be this one. This one's the basis that I'm working on. So that means you need to have your scope taken off you. And then uh, sniper maximized beam focuser. I've already got all of that here. So uh, this one could then just be swapped out for uh, medium scope here. That gets attached. Beam focuser. Recoil, improve sniper, maximize capacitor. This is now going to be, yes, a snipey weapon. All right. So, as a result of that, do I actually want boosted photon? Because if it's sniper, then first shot is more important. You're not using this day to day. I'll keep it, but I won't go over to it. So, uh, yeah. In which case, no, don't don't cancel. That's fine. And then this one gets this one gets broken down. So we scrap that. That's Plastic 7. That's good. So we're just going to get rid of you now. Just double check I'm happy with that. Yes, I don't need any of that. So go. Okay. So as a result of that, I think... Oh my goodness. Old friend. I think it's time for you to be retired. I genuinely feel quite emotional about this. The suppressed calibrated powerful pipe bolt action sniper rifle. How much good work has this done for me? But... Looking at these two, that's just, that's just incredible. And to be honest, yeah, the actual combat rifle is almost as strong at this point. So, I mean, it's sad, but it's, it's time. It is time. Goodbye, old friend. And yeah, just store all of this away inside the locker. Remember that's there. We might need it down the line. And yes, indeed. Sweet dreams, old friend. You have served me... So well, but I feel like now it is time for you to uh, have a good rest in the locker where no one will ever get you aside from me, okay? No idiot settler is going to grab you and then blow me up with you, okay? You get to stay up here where it's nice and peaceful. And oh yeah, the sleep situation is getting uh, 
desperate. So as much as I love having this beautiful, beautiful adrenaline, it's time for a quick snack. So, you know, I minimize the chance of getting sick and then we'll just sleep through to uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, 13 hours will take me to about half four in the morning and that pretty much works for me. So we'll get that kicked off. That's going to be all the rest I need. Uh, that's also going to be uh, well rested. Uh, so yeah, bonus XP going forward because uh, we have got some powerful new toys. But this place is still just a moment. Awesome. Yeah, we're good. And also apparently Starlight Driving like, you know, defended itself or something. And I'm just a tiny bit thirsty. So that's all absolutely fine. Looking like, uh, yes, everything is absolutely okay. Marvellous. Right. Time to be on the move because... Uh, there's one more thing I'd like to do today. Because if I just, you know, swing by uh, Diamond City here nice and quick, then here we go. Military fatigues. Anybody can just put Ballistic Weave 1 on, which is great. Then you need Armour 1, 2, and 3 to go up in the world. But you may notice this is... Uh, this is really expensive in Ballistic Fiber. Like, that's, you know, a thousand caps worth of Ballistic Fiber just to do that and then a hat. So... Uh, I don't really want to do Ballistic Weave 2 immediately. I would like to skip straight to Ballistic Weave 4 at Armourer 3. I think that is now currently the single most important thing I could do in terms of making my life a bit safer. Because I'm floating a level up right now. So what I'm going to do with that is immediately I'm going to take Armourer up to 2. And next level, I'm going to take that straight up to 3. So I just need a little bit of XP to get there. And I think I know precisely the place to get it. Because uh, there's one place I kind of want to go anyway. Somewhere I was hinting at last week when I mentioned, you know, one final string to my violin. In, you know, an analogy that kind of didn't work very well. Oh, I was about to say we're going south. But there's, there's just a raider here. Okay, just take you out. So that there, that's a good first run out for my little uh, laser sniper rifle. I wasn't expecting just to raid up this close to Diamond City. They would have taken care of it, but okay, just uh, never trust anything in Fallout 4. I was about to, you know, do a big little, oh, now we're going to go on a lovely trip south and it's going to be safe because we've been this way before, so there's nothing to worry about. Then there was literally a raider, like, right there, just unexpectedly on the road outside Diamond City. So good, that's uh, that's done wonderful things to my sense of zen today. Marvellous. And Chen, you had something uh, good on you. By the way, Little Miss Corpse and... Uh, okay, basically worthless. Got it. Okay, moving away from Diamond City here. And what we're doing is uh, we're heading south. All right, to an area close by to Jamaica Plain. We've not visited before. But, you know, we sort of... Uh, we came close by to previously, though. To be honest, looping all the long way around is uh, probably not that efficient. I mean, there's a road here. I could follow the roads. Okay, in New Vegas, following roads is always a good idea. Like, in Fallout 4, not so much. And hello over there. That's a giant pile of donks. Right, just get me a lovely grenade right there. And about... This should do it. Let's just put that over there. There we flip and go. Now, one of you is... Oh, several of you have actually survived that. That's... Oh! Then there were more explosions. Then I shot you in the uh, face. Then I shot you. Then I shot... Yeah, a lot of you were crippled by that. There we go. That's... Okay, we're most of the way to the um the XP I need already. Yeah, I'm guessing actually definitely it's a bad idea to walk down uh, this, uh, this road. Because this is the road where you're supposed to go when you're doing the follow dog meat to find your sun quest. So there's like, you know, deliberately bad stuff on it. So maybe uh, we stick around... Uh, the outskirts of this particular road. Like, you know, close to the road, but not on it. Especially as that uh, that car's probably broadcasting uh, rads at this point. Though I would like to also draw attention to the fact that, you know, now I've modestly let it slide for a moment. That was one hell of a grenade throw. I am not bad at lining up the grenade throws in this game. Even without the targeting thing, alright? I'm pretty bloody good at that. Okay, on to open ground here. Just a little bit further south from where we were. That is... Uh, that's Eleanor, who is... Ah, hang on, you're no trouble. Yeah, just ignore you. No reason to have any trouble with someone who's nice and, you know, green and friendly. Green friendly people can help me deal with people who are dicks, so that's fine. So instead, just keep on keeping on here. And that over there is definitely not the back of Jamaica Plain. So, okay, I'm not... I'm not 100% where I thought I was. 
All right, just... When I see my destination, I'll know it. Because I'm looking for a really big blue building. All right, so that's not going to be too tricky to, uh, to take care of, is that? Here we go. We're coming up on the right area over here. Because this is, yeah, the kind of... Uh, there's a hospital, there's a parking area, there's all sorts of bits and pieces. There's a big department store infested with... Uh, Super mutants. I just need to make sure I'm approaching from the uh, the right angle. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I've got the orientation of this area wrong. If that there is parking and that there is the hospital, then yeah, there's Fallon's. So what I want to do now is I want to skirt around the outside of this area because I don't want to go into Fallon's. That's not my destination at all. Instead, now I just want to keep going. There's Hub Flower. Never turn down the old Hub Flower. All right, hub flower means I can just, you know, bypass her speech checks, which is really, really bloody useful. So just work around the back of here. And uh, if I've got this right, and I should be seeing it in a second, is uh, like a big blue building, unless I've got everything wrong, which I might have. There it is. Okay, that's my destination, Shaw High School. That there is a really... Really good looting spot, and it should be... Uh, well, it's Super Mutants at home. I know there's mutants around here. And there's a good chance, you know, we might be seeing uh, suiciders and whatnot. In fact, to be honest, I'm kind of a little bit perturbed that Vats hasn't detected anything yet. Where are the Super Mutants? They should be here. They should be here. I'm not happy about this, and also I'm a bit peckish. Right, that's that taken care of at least. I might be needing every single little bit of AP I can get my hands on in a second, and... That's just a feral mongrel. I mean, to be honest, that's fine. That's a nice, easy pick-off. There's, there's one right there. And just... yeah, there you are. So just... take you out. Oh, this is... It's not really doing the damage I was hoping it would. To be honest, uh, though if I do miss, it's not the end of the world, because yeah, the fire rate's pretty fast, though the second shot's not going to be as good. So, maybe crits are- oh! Hello over there. There you go, suicider! Right, good. Good, 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 good. So, um, okay. I'm going to be honest, where's your, where's your glowy, you know, bomb? I mean, I can see it's vaguely glowing, but I'm not really seeing like, you know, a as much glowing as I would have anticipated. Like, you know, aren't they supposed to hold a bomb? Is that in Fallout 76? They don't actually, like, you know, have a bomb in their hands and that's already dead. Good, 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 good. Dog must have killed that or a mutant or... What? Okay, that's fine. Do I want to start this fight over here? And also, what's detecting me? I don't like the fact that somebody's detecting me. It's not you, is it? Okay, you know what? Screw it. If there's just a dog over there... I'm not going to say no. In fact, we're almost to where I wanted to be. You're a skirmisher. You're a suicider. If I was just to crit into his arm, he'd probably take out his friend. But then, okay, I might want to be in better cover before we do that. Uh, skirmisher, that's the suicider. I don't have a shot at the arm right now. Do I want to take this shot? No, not really, to be perfectly honest. I kind of feel like I should... Ooh, maybe I should just skirmish against each other. I mean, I'm almost where I wanted to be. I feel like, you know what, we might want to, we might just want to take out these guys. If I can just get the shot on the Suicider. And seriously, who's detecting me? Who's detecting me? Because I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. I don't like being detected when I don't know who's detecting me. And there's Gunner Plaza, by the way, if I'm feeling particularly, oh, hang on, there's, that's just blood bugs. Can't be them. They're definitely not detecting me. They come and attack. I'm kind of in a bit of a rock and a hard place here. I don't like it. Uh, okay. I saw some mutants. Let's just... Let's just see what else is around. Whatever was detecting me, it was over there. Okay, just... Be ready. We're not going up against them. Though I think there might be more over... Oh! Oh! Hi! Sorry! Um, I didn't... I didn't realise that you were a dog and that you were... That you were here, actually. My mistake! Sorry about that. I just walked straight into a dog. So that's, well, we've got the level up. I mean, to be honest, I feel like we might just want to coward out of this one. The super mutants are looking... Do I just want to coward out? 
Okay, I might just want to coward out of this, for now at least. Because, uh, yeah, uh, there's a few more super mutants and suiciders than I was expecting. And to be honest, I've got what I wanted. Alright, this is precisely what I said I wanted right here. I mean, there's armor of three. I mean, that's just lovely. Next one's not till 39, so that's as good as armor can be for the time being. And uh, to be honest, I feel like there's... There's actually... Oh, hang on. I've just had a thought. A really good thought, actually. There's... Uh, oh, there's something I could do. Ooh, yes. Okay, order of play might be different to what I wanted it to be. Although, if I could just see that suicider. If that suicider wouldn't mind just popping up his head... I wouldn't object to saying, okay, one of you's going to die just because I feel like killing you. There's the suicider. Wait for the shot at the, hang on, which arm is it? It's, yes, it's definitely that arm. Okay, and uh, actually, I think I might be able to get the shot manually. And no, yes, no, no, maybe not. Okay, wait, hang on, are they, did you all go next to each other? You did, crit! Blow him up, blow him up, blow him up, blow him up, blow him up. How is he not? Wait, hang on. Oh, that's maybe the wrong... Oh, hang on. There's... Now there's... Now there's... Um, um, uh... Oh, okay, this this might have actually been a, a mistake. Hang on. Did he... He didn't pull out the bomb until later. Where, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There is, there is, there is, there is. There's the bomb. Now he's holding the bomb. Now he's holding the bomb. Oh, now that'll flippy do the jobby. Probably, anyway. Uh, how many other people survived that, by the way? That was... That was... Oh, oh. There's... There's... There's, there's fire there. Yep, they're definitely blind firing... Uh, in this direction at this point, but they do not know where I am. Okay, you know what? We took out a suicider, even though he hadn't got out his bomb yet. That's a little frustrating. I don't know if that was just, like, because I was at a distance or something. I swear in 76 that changed, but, like, possibly I'm just misremembering. Okay, we just took out some super mutants, all right? We said we were going to come down south, take out some super mutants. We haven't been in the school, but we have done what we said we were going to do. So basically, mission still, you know, complete there. Then I'm just going to go check the corpses. Because why not? That should be free nuclear material, and that's not that common. Oh, yeah, he took down two friends with him. So, uh, got two nuclear material right there. He had another suicide friend. That's a free... Wait, hang on, was that... Was that three suiciders in a... Oh, flip me. That's... Well, okay, you know what, this is all... Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit close to being detected, actually, by, by... Okay, you know what, we're, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. This has gone very well, but now it's time for us to, uh, just be uh, nipping off. Because that was uh, three suiciders uh, standing next to each other, where one took out the other two, so I've just got myself... A handful of mini nukes. So I've now got three mini nukes. That's... That is actually probably more valuable to me than, like, you know, the thing I was going to come and get today. So we'll discuss that another day. That's fine. I think, you know what, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth or, like, after I've got a gift horse, demand, like, several more gift horses. I'm good. Let's go get our reward because in just a moment, I'm going to be way, way stronger. Ooh, bit of a... Nasty surprise, by the way. So, uh, the spot where the dogs were, that now appears to be being occupied by Death Claws, who are... Oh! They're fighting each other! Okay, this is... Yes, I know what this is. This is a, um, a, a random event. Okay, that's fine. Uh, because sometimes you get two Death Claws uh, fighting it out. So... Uh, there's also just a rad stag over there. I don't really care about that, like, uh, so much. So, okay. All we need to do uh, is stay back. We will pick off uh, whoever actually uh, wins. Because they'll be weakened. And that will be good. Because that is uh, death claw hides and meat. And to be honest, the queen meat was running out. So, I'm just eating like a king at the moment. Alright. Previously, I was eating uh, Milet Queen. Now, I'm going to be eating death claw steaks. So, uh, is one of them naffing off? One of them might have decided they don't want to do this anymore. But, like... In which case, uh, that's now can't detect you. Okay, what are we doing in terms of... Ah, hang on. Do not use laser weaponry. Laser weaponry, highly ineffective against these bastards. Need to use uh, penetrating. That's more like it. Is this a good use for crit? I feel like it is, you know. Crit! And... He's not actually dead, by the way. Uh, which is, you know, modestly concerning. And go! Oh, now he's now he's coming. Now he's coming. Now he's coming. Uh, but that's fine, because so I can bypass his armor. We don't really need to be going for any of this. Just, you know, anything where I've got a good shot. Yeah, that's fine. Just anything that, like, kills him. Now. Good. Good, good, good. 
I don't have bloody mess, but he kind of just bloody messed anyway. So that's that's fine. And that was just him shattering, right? Yes, I think it was. I'll be taking all that, thank you. Lovely. Now, my bigger concern is... Now I don't have a crit anymore. And the other one walked off over here. And I don't know where he is. So I've now got an unaccounted for death claw. Now I thought I just heard for a split second... Gunfire in the distance. If he was going down that road, that means he's heading into town. If he's going into town, that means he's going to hit Diamond City Security. But I don't know whether that was the one who won or the one who lost. So... Also, because he's an event, is he just going to despawn if he gets sufficiently far away from me? Well, everything despawns if he gets sufficiently far away from me. There's... What's that? Well, there's a raider over there who's upset for some reason. Uh, she's going to be more upset now because I've just shot her. Um, I'm guessing there's a death claw just close by to Diamond City now. So that's fun because you know what else is close by to Diamond City? Where I cocking live! Well, there's another raider over there who's looking pretty chill. Um, I'm, I'm unnerved because I don't know how far away you have to be from a random event spawned creature before it just, you know, decides it can't be asked anymore. Okay. What is going on here? And what's... The problem is, I don't know whether I'm, you know, nearby to a death claw or whether I'm getting close to being detected by the guards of Diamond City, who I could also be being almost detected by. And there's not going to be much here, because I've kind of killed some of these raiders already. So this is kind of, this is kind of on, on me, actually. Okay, are you guys dead, by the way? Because they might be dead. Are we good? Well, there's... There's just a raider there. I mean, to be honest, I won't say no to... Excuse me, darn it. If I could just get a good shot at you, I wouldn't say... No, but... Go! Okay, there's just a little bit of extra XP. Never say no to XP. Not least as sometimes these raiders apparently get a bit too close to, you know, the city where I do all my shopping. You're almost home. Well, to be honest, I don't live here, but... Is everyone okay, by the way? Where are the... Where are the guards? I've got a worrying feeling you might have come through here. Because I swear there's normally more guards than this. Um... Does anyone know what happened to the... To the guards? Oh, this is all deeply perturbing. Oh, there you are! Okay, well, you seem pretty chill, so that's nice. Okay, bit tense at the end there, but the guns did do their jobs. But yes, one important final thing we need to flipping do today. Just top up my thirst nice and fast. We're going to Diamond City. Assuming I don't get, you know, eaten by Deathclaw or they haven't been eaten by Deathclaws. Assuming no Deathclaw-related shenanigans occur. If I want to be making my armor better, and bloody hell can it be better now, I'm going to need three things over at Diamond City, which is one, ballistic fiber. So I'm going to be taking that shipment with me. That comes along, and that's actually weightless, so I kind of hope I get to, to use that here, right? I kind of hope I do anyway. Uh, then I need... Yes, the... Hang on, where are the swan boat fragments? Take all of the swan boat fragments, because they don't weigh anything. And then I'm going to be needing, like, 14 adhesive. That one could be more of a problem, potentially. Oh no, never mind, we're golden. I'm swimming in wonder glue. Good. Okay, just for safety, I'm going to drop the shipment of ballistic fibre. I'm going to break it down to ballistic fibre 25. So I can actually have, you know, literally the fibre on me. Just on the off chance that for some reason, you can't like, you know, break it down to bench that's not in a base that belongs to you. Because I'm not sure about that. And if we put all of this together, all of this loot, everything I've bought, spent my money on, all these quests, all these locations I've had to clear out, then, uh, oh, things are about to get sexy. Because now, I can go from, uh, oh, bloody hell, this is, this is ridiculous. No, no, before we do this, hang on, let's just make sure we understand what I'm doing here. My current damage resistance is uh, 68 to physical resistance, 67 to uh, energy resistance, okay? That's where I am right now. That's my defense. Ballistic Weave Mark IV on my military fatigues gets me up to an additional 90 and 95, okay? Slightly 
dumb and ridiculous right there. And meanwhile, my military cap, which does take the weave, because yes, of the mod I've installed, link in the description below if you want to do that too. Though, if you don't, just use the classic, uh, what is it, the um, the weird green cloth hat, the battered fedora. They're perfectly good hats, they've got good benefits on them. I just find it really boring that you've got no choice in this game but to, you know, always wear the same hat by the end of the game. I like my military cap, I like how it goes with a military uniform. So uh, that there, that's what we're doing. So that's going to become 90-90 as well as perception plus one absolutely spectacular. And yeah, we've pretty much burnt through uh, the ballistic fibre already there. And that has got my damage resistance and energy resistance up to 248 to 247. So, uh, yes, right now, against most light arms fire, I should have pretty much maxed out damage reduction. So that is um, capped at 85% uh, uh, damage reduction, though. I don't know how that interacts with... Um, yeah, the assassin's arm piece, where that's applied, or if that's allowed to apply, like, beyond that on top of it. Like, I know you can't get to 100%. Well, actually, you, you could have a sentinel back in the day. Okay, but I don't think you can with one piece and high damage resistance. That's definitely not how, uh, how that works. So, basically, I am now bloody in a suit of armor next to how I was at the beginning of this episode. And as my friends and townsfolk just look upon me in bloody awe... Oh, we're eating like kings tonight. Death claw steak, flipping love it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting somewhere. Last week, we put together a huge amount of, you know, incredible offensive options. Today, our defenses have been shored up. So from now on, even against relatively tough enemies, the pressure is off a little bit because any hits I receive should be on the minor side, even relatively tough enemies uh, with decent weaponry, they won't be able to do that much to me, which is uh, pretty darn good news. And that means, uh, yeah, in particular, in uh, bigger, more frantic, massive gunfights, I don't need to be so worried about taking critical damage, because, uh, you know, if I get hit, it's going to be very, very light taps, which uh, brings me to next week, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, prepare yourself. I'm about to say something truly shocking here. We're going to make some flipping plot progress in terms of trying to track down my flipping son. That is right, we are going for Nick Valentine. We're going into uh, Vault 114 and uh, with these weapons and this armor, we can win. We're almost certainly not going to die unless something goes dramatically wrong, but uh, there's a lot of enemies down there. Things are going to get a bit uh, frantic, so... Uh, there's going to be one hell of a frantic firefight, and yeah, those guys are underground, so I can't just nuke them from orbit, which is, you know, a bit of a shame, unfortunately. So, uh, we will see how that goes, ladies and gentlemen, and after that, well, uh, to be honest, I would not mind vaguely making a move uh, in the direction of, you know, Kellogg. Because uh, once he's taken care of, uh, the Brotherhood are back in town, and uh, that there, that's another solution to the problems of the Commonwealth. Operation Can't Someone Else Do It. Because once the Brotherhood are here, well, they can start coming down in their vertebrates and dealing with enemies for me. Though, occasionally the vertebrates could also crash and kill me. So, you know, potato tomato. We'll see which way that goes as we start moving in that direction next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.